Now, before we can write a program, we need to move the arm around. There's three different ways to jog the robot. If we go down to the robot operation tab on the bottom right, we're gonna click on that, and it's gonna bring up the robot operation tab. We have manual guided teaching mode so we can actually physically move it around with our hands. We can go to the jog tab so we can actually jog it like a robot. And then we have the MPG where we can actually jog it like a robot with very fine movement. So if we go to manual guided teaching, I have it in free mode. Free will allow me to move all six axes as I need to. Translation will lock it in the XYZ coordinates. So essentially I can't adjust any wrist, I can't adjust my torch or work angles. Rotation will lock it into one point in space and let me rotate around that point. And then custom will allow me to do whatever mixture of those I want. So if you look right below there, there's a teaching weight line. When I'm moving in free or rotation, I generally want that on light. What that does is that adjusts the resistance that the arm provides when you're trying to move it around. When you're in translation, you want that teaching weight very low. That's where you get more fine movement when you're down in the joint and you're trying to move your torch into position. So first off, let's start with free mode. To be able to move the arm, we have to push the dead man. The dead man is a three position switch that's either on the back of the pendant or on the torch. If we push it down to the middle position, we're gonna see the green light flashing. Whenever we're moving the arm manually, we always have to hold it in this position, in the middle position. If I let it off, it's gonna lock the arm. If I push it all the way in, it's gonna lock the arm. So I need to push it halfway down. Now I can move the arm as I need to. So I wanna gently grab with one hand, putting no arm weight on it and get it moving. Then I could actually use two hands if I need to, but I don't want to go up and grab it with two hands and put weight on it because it'll feel that and it'll lock the arm. So I'm going to use this dead man up here. I'm going to move it in free mode. So you can see I can move it in any direction I want and I can move it very easy because the teaching weight is on light. If I go to translation, and I'm going to bring the teaching weight up to a little bit about a quarter of the way. Now when I move it, I can only move it in the XYZ and my torch angle will not move. So this is great for moving from the weld start to your weld end. When I go to rotation, I want to lighten that teaching weight up. This is if I'm in the joint and I want to move it around that point, it's going to move around my tool center point, which is the end of my wire. So it's going to move around that point in space. So now I can move it as I need to around that point. And then finally, if I go to custom, I can turn on certain uh, axes as I want to. So right now I'm able to move in my XYZ, which is translation, and then rotate around Z, which is rotation. The reason I would do this is if I was doing a circle and I needed to go from three to, to uh, six to nine to 12, I can move around the circle as I need to, but then I can also rotate my torch as I go around that circle and it locks out my rotation around X and Y so I don't get my torch angle moving in a way I don't want it to. The other way we can do this, as far as moving the arm, is we can go to the jog tab. Now you'll notice on the left, under frame, I'm in joint mode, so I can move each individual joint as I want to. There's J1, there's J2, J3, J4, J5, and J6. If I choose that drop down menu under frame and I go to Cartesian, now I'm moving in world coordinates. Now I can move in my X, my Y, and my Z. Those are all positives. I can go negative as well. And then I can also rotate around those axes. So I can rotate around X, I can rotate around the Y axis, and I can rotate around the Z axis. If I go to the MPG tab, I can choose which direction I want to move. So I'm still in the world coordinates. If I want to move in Z, I can choose Z. I can choose a scaling factor. So for this purpose, I'm going to use times 10 so that you can see the movement. And then I'm going to turn the wheel in the positive direction. So you'll see it going up. If I turn the wheel counterclockwise, I'll have negative Z movement in the coordinates. If I go to my frame drop-down menu and I choose joint, 
Now I can choose each individual joint that I want to move. So if I want to move J2, I can turn that dial and now I'm only moving J2. And that's how you move the arm around so that you can program.